Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the automatic test prep function. So how to add test points or convert vias and pins and pad stacks and, um, on a design into a, a test jig or test point so that we can then output that to, to manufacture for testing. So this is only available in the AllCAD PCB Designer Professional License or above. It's not available in the AllCAD Standard License. Um, so under the Manufacture menu, there's something called Test Prep and then Test Prep Automatic. So this gives us some, some basic test settings of whether we're allowed testing directly on pads, on traces. We can test unused pins. And um, there's some parameters that we can look at. And this is very similar to the manual setup. So we can look at whether we want to just use vias, for example, only through hole vias. Maybe I want to test on both sides of the board this time, so we're going to select either. Um, I still want to use TP as the naming convention for my test points. I then go and start to enable the pads. So we pick via as the default test point location for top and bottom side. And I can also enable replacement of via. So this is a default via that maybe is covered with solder mask and, and the test by if I replaced it with a default test by maybe have the solder mask removed. I can also set up probe types. So maybe I want to set up a certain clearance for, for the default probe diameters um, because you can only put certain probes so close to each other. So let's just add some, some probe types. So we'll start off with the default 2.54 pitch um, that uses a, a square and that's the default one we want to use. Um, but we'll also have a 1.27 um, for the instances where the vias are closer than, than the square function. Once that's done, um, I'm also going to allow testing directly on a trace. So this will try and add a pad in onto a trace to try and create a, a, a test point location if need be. And then we'll just click on the generate test points. And this then starts to process all the nets. So that's completed. We've not got 100%. We've got kind of, you know, 86% here. If we zoom in and we'll just turn off the default layers, we can see again, so we get the, the indication of the test points representing the different settings that we had. We've got manuf uh, tools, quick reports. We can, we've got a test prep report that we can look at that will have test point information, what via it uses, the locations, and we can output this to go and generate an ICT jig. 